Okay, so the last thing um, that I want to show you in this demonstration is just um, the final tidying up, the things that were slightly broken when we created our child theme. Right, so now I don't want to confuse you, but along the top here I've got um, an instance of pages that show what the website looks like with the original child theme, which um, which is uh, which has been set up correctly, um, and then also pages uh, here which show what the website would look like um, if that new child theme were active. And so basically, the um, this this page, if I were to refresh it, would look like um, this page because I have in fact reactivated. The the original child theme. Okay, so but I, I, I open these tabs here just to show you what the website and the widgets and the menus looks like just after we create this this um, this new child theme. So so basically, what's happened? If if you compare the shop page here, um, this has appeared, um, and a few widgets have disappeared. This one has been maintained. If I look at the uh, original, there's uh, there's an image here a um, a Pinterest image that's gone missing, um, and okay, so the Instagram was brought over. A couple. Oh, here's a um, um, a Pinterest widget that's been missed out as well. Um, so looking at the widgets, then um, this is from the new child theme, uh, which is pretty pretty standard, and as you can see the. Instagram sliders there in the categories, which is actually not what we want. What we actually want was this. So some work had gone into um, setting up some new widgets, and the Divi theme allows you to create widgets here really easily. So in the new child theme, we would need to create all of these new widget areas. That's pretty simple to do. Um, and um, and then move a couple of things out and uh, get rid of this categories uh, widget here. Now the, the good news is that once you do create all of those new widget areas, the old uh, widgets with their settings have been preserved um, in the inactive sidebar areas there. So really you just need to drag them up and um, it works pretty well. So it took me about 10 minutes to recreate all the widget areas. Um, the other thing that gets upset is the menu system. So you can have a look the menu there that's in the new child theme. Um, looks a bit untidy. The original menu was like that. And that's simply because menus haven't been allocated to the appropriate positions. So as you can see in the um, properly set up child theme, main menu is in the primary menu position and the footer menu is in the footer menu position. Whereas just after installing the new child theme, these are available there, but they just haven't been selected. So that, that takes about 10 seconds to fix up. Um, and so that is how we create a child theme using the Orbisius child theme creator. Um, if, there's, um, if there's demand um, and questions, I can also show you how the um, theme editor works. And we might do that in another video. Okay, thanks very much.